one of the best ways to play defense in Madden 25 every single year is to utilize a concept known as rolling your coverage. Rolling your coverage is essentially taking your safeties and rolling them to different sides of the field to provide better leverage points for them to defend things like corner routes, crossing routes, and all of that stuff. So in this video, we're going to be explaining what roll coverage is and how you can actually craft it out of pretty much any defense. I'm going to be showing it out of Dime 3-2 here. But you can literally craft this out of anything. And uh, we're going to show you kind of the basic concept of roll coverage, and that is the Cover 3 Cloud. Uh, the Cover 3 Cloud is pretty much set up for you, roll defense or roll coverage defense. So we're going to get on the field and kind of break down what's going on here. So what we're basically doing with this Cover 3 Cloud in our dollar defense here is we're trying to limit the, the bunch side passing windows. And this is going to be done by using this Cloud Flat and this outside uh, outside third zone. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to press our coverage up and we're going to pinch our D line. We're going to slant them inside so we get decent sheds. And then we're going to use her, uh, really could use her either middle linebacker in this case. In this case, we're going to use her this guy. So as you see, this is we're rolling our coverage. Uh, and by roll, we mean we're rolling our safety. So this safety is going from the left side of the field to the middle of the field. And this guy's going from his position all the way outside to defend any kind of deep corner route. So the reason that this is really effective is it's designed to slow down the bunch side and allow us to basically cut crossers on the backside. So we're just going to kind of let this play run. I'm going to spy the defensive line, and I want to show you what this does a really good job of defending. So the thing that this does a really good job of defending is these double corner concepts or this like street corner flat to one side. This is going to do a really good job of defending that combo. So you'll see right here that this short corner is going to get played for the most part by that cloud flat or soft squat defender out on that right hand side. And then this outside third is going to roll over the top of the coverage to take away this double corner or this deeper corner route. And then, of course, your tight end is being defended by the middle third. So as a general rule of thumb, you normally want to roll your coverage over the top of the formation strength in the formation that you're playing. So, for example, if the, form if the, if the bunch is to the right, you typically want to roll your coverage over the top of the right side of the screen. Now, this isn't a universal truth, but it is for pretty generally true. Um, and the main adjustment we want to make here on the back side is we're going to take this slot corner and we're going to put him in a seam flat. Okay, seam flats this year are much better than curl flats. And then we'll go over kind of verticals and kind of show how this plays. This. So you see here, this is the play verticals. Take a look at that seam flat. Does a really good job of kind of bracketing that crosser. And essentially... What is supposed to happen in this coverage that does not happen in this video, and we're going to talk about how to kind of kind of deal with it, is this hook curl is actually supposed to match this crosser coming across the field, but he does not do that. Now, let's take a look here on the right side, though. As we see this roll coverage, this hook curl defender is going to do a really good job of defending this tight end seam wheel, and then you can basically rally down and tackle this running back route underneath of the play. So what I like to do with this coverage is we're going to press. We're going to vert hook that corner on the right side so it gets a little bit more outside. We're going to shade our coverage outside and underneath, which is going to really affect these yellow zones. And then we're going to soft squat that corner on the right side. We can leave this hard flat here. Uh, we could also put him in that seam flat that we had talked about previously. But then what we're going to do with our user is we're going to basically be what we call the cut defender, which essentially is by blitzing our user um, because we want better sheds, we're going to kind of be left with this kind of basic defense. So what is our primary responsibility on the play? Really, if that crosser goes across, we're going to basically use him ourselves. So you're going to see against a play like verticals, we're just going to take this. And this does a really pretty decent job of defending everything they could do from bunch. Let's go over some other combinations that are really effective this year out of bunch. One of them being the double post with the streak on this uh, on this receiver. So again, kind of the same responsibilities here, but because we have 
basically a three over two triangular coverage with this roll over the top, we don't have to worry too much about bunch side corner routes, right? So what we're able to really put a lot of our energy into is really just the crossing routes coming from right to left. So if that, as you see here, we just take this from right to left and this does a really good job of defending it. Now this is where, again, I really like to put this backside player into a soft squat, uh, or I'm sorry, uh, I like to put the right, the bunch side guy in a soft squat, and this left side, I like to put this guy in a seam flat if they are throwing C routes. If they're throwing, if they're not throwing C routes, the hard flat's fine, but you'll see here that this seam flat just absolutely bags the C route, right? He still caught it somehow, but he's perfectly in position to play it. Seam flats also do a really good job of defending these little out routes. Um, these speed outs, which is one of my favorite outs in the game. So you see here, if I put that slot corner on the right side on a seam flat, now that speed out, which is really normally pretty good against cover three, is going to be a tough throw to be able to be made against that coverage. Another very popular combination out of bunch is to put the running back on a streak. You're going to see here that if they put the running back on a streak, then this hook curl and the seam flat are going to be pretty good. You'll see, look at this seam flat kind of help bracket that. And then again, we would obviously go to that, that deep crossing route. But you see kind of the idea uh, just in terms of, of what this defense can really do for you is rolling them from right to left. Now, I did want to also explain that this is not just a heavy coverage defense. You can actually send pretty good pressure uh, from this from this defense and to, to illustrate this we're going to actually go into our packages and we're going to put our safeties package on the field so when you put the safeties package on the field it's going to allow you to create a cover three cloud out of pretty much anything so we're going to run this little uh, free safety zone uh, zone blitz here and we're going to try to get this pressure off the right side so what we're going to do is we're still going to do that roll coverage that we talked about, except now we're just going to do kind of a concept like like this, basically. And you're going to see that this is this is pretty much what we're able to do here. So, you know, we can we can kind of craft a coverage like this on this right hand side. Now, this mid read uh, isn't ideal, I will say. So we might need to you know put our user here into a hook curl and maybe even just use this slot kind of creep on him if we wanted to do something like this. Or, you know, we can obviously just put him in, in the mid-read and, and just call it good. But, but basically what this allows us to do is this allows us to create a blitz look from, from this roll coverage technique, right? Now, in this case, what's our responsibility? Our responsibility is really going to be to that left side if they go to the flat. But if they don't go to the flat, we're able to play pretty good coverage, right? Another way that I like to utilize this concept is out of the play. Let me see if I can actually go find it here this play DB fire two is really optimized for this concept because now we're going to actually be able to, to use her, this defender right here. And we're going to just basically roll uh, craft the roll coverage like this. And now you see how we have that vert hook to the right side, right? So all we got to do is we're just using here. We're rolling over that bunch side, pretty nice. And we're sending five from this. So you see there are more holes, obviously, the more people you blitz. But in general, the roll coverage technique and concept and purpose, which is really to be stopping the corner routes on, that, on the side that you're rolling towards, does a pretty good job. Like you're able to defend for the most part uh, all of that stuff. And then you're also able here to kind of get some pressure and then use her in the middle of the field. So that is the roll coverage concept at a dollar. And I did want to take just a quick minute here and explain how to do this out of other formations. Uh, for example, a lot of people like this double mug. So we can go into our packages. We can go to the free. You basically want to choose a package that says like strong safety inside, free safety inside. Uh, it's going to basically put a safety at the slot corner position and you can create roll coverages like this. So if we come out of nickel dog three buzz, maybe we set our defense up like this. You're gonna see here um, that we're able to craft this roll coverage. And actually I need to change my coach adjustments because we had it optimized for dollar. So we'll change it back. So you'll see here, all we're gonna do is we're gonna put the slot corner in a outside third. We're gonna slant our line inside to send the four man. We're gonna have a soft squat from this guy. We're gonna have a vert hook from this defender. And then we're gonna have the seam flat be from this defender. And then all we have to do 
is basically just user right here. And it's really the same basic idea that we were just showing you from dollar. It's just now we're doing it from double mug. So that is the idea of rolling your coverage from one side over the top of the other side. The side normally is going to be to the strong side. Uh, and the reason is because it's going to do a really good job of defending things such as these co uh, pesky corner routes. And this is one of the best tactics to defend short corners, double corners, uh, as well as just allow your users some more flexibility in the middle of the field. Thanks for watching the video and hope you enjoyed the breakdown on roll coverage. If you guys want to check out the rest of the defensive tutorials, make sure you get in our school community, school.com slash Cody Ballard, where we drop all of our offensive and defensive ebooks. You get access to everything for just $10. The link is in the description below.